How would you set about to measure the Earth with the mathematical knowledge and tools you already possess? A Greek named Eratosthenes did it 240 years before Christ. He was head of the great library of Alexandria in Egypt, a city built by the Greeks. He, like others, suspected that the world was round. After all, the sun and the moon were round. He had also noticed that the sun's rays fell in parallel lines. Greeks before him had divided the circle into degrees and had measured angles. With this information and a logical mind, he measured the earth. Here is how. While visiting the city of Syene one midsummer's day, Eratosthenes noticed that the reflection of the sun could be seen in the bottom of a deep well. The sun was overhead, and the rays pointed to the center of the earth. He remembered this, and on the next midsummer's day in Alexandria, he measured the shadow cast by an obelisk. Sunbeams travel in parallel lines, so the difference in angle had to result from the curvature of the Earth. If the angle was 1 50th of a circle, then the distance around the world must be 50 times the distance from Alexandria to Syene. With these simple tools, Eratosthenes made this almost exact measurement of the world more than 1,700 years before Magellan sailed around it. He was a friend of Archimedes. He was a mathematician and a poet, invented the sieve for finding prime numbers, was the first geographer, and corrected the calendar to the one we use today. <laughs>